YouTubers, it's Danielle. Today I will be covering a popular ship and one of my personal favorite ones, Scott Summers and Jean Grey, also known as Cyclops and Jean Grey. Jean Grey and Scott Summers have been paired together ever since they debuted in the 1960s in Uncanny X-Men. The two confessed their love to each other on Bobby Drake's 16th birthday, and since then it's become clear that they are in love, with both balancing the other out fairly well. They become engaged before Jean makes the ultimate sacrifice while on a mission in outer space, and she becomes absorbed with the powers of the cosmic entity, the Phoenix. After Jean dies, Cyclops is heartbroken by this tragedy, but here's why there are many fans out there that hate this pairing of the two. After Jean dies, Cyclops seems to have moved on fairly quickly from her with Jean's clone Madeline Pryor, but once Jean returns, Cyclops proceeds to leave Madeline and go off to marry Jean during the 1990s, abandoning his wife and son, Nate. It is this reason why many hate Cyclops due to his treatment of women, believing him to be a womanizer and an egotistical jerk, with him being whiny over his girlfriends who he has relationships with talking with other men. However, there are plenty out there that love Jean and Scott as a couple and look past that. I, for one, am one of those people, because I'm a firm believer that the dysfunction in Scott and Jean's romance stems from the both of them having done things to hurt each other and are equally at fault, such as Cyclops having a psychic sex affair with Emma Frost after Age of Apocalypse and Jean during that time trying to have sex with Wolverine as she further taps into the Phoenix Force. So you can see why there are so many out there that are polarized on Cyclops and Jean Grey being together, believing the relationship to be abusive and believing Cyclops to be the cause of all the problems. Their live action appearances in the movies by both Famke Jansen and James Marsden and also Ty Sheridan and Sophie Turner show different layers to the relationship of Cyclops and Jean and do not really explore the idea of Scott cheating on Jean with Emma Frost or dumping Madeline Pryor to marry her, with many having wanted Cyclops to have a much bigger role in the X-Men Last Stand film but were left disappointed when Cyclops was killed by Jean off screen, the producers and director explaining at the time that they felt Jean killing her fiance was appropriate in that moment as it would further drive Jean to become more and more confused and become darker as the film progressed. Maybe that's why there are some, like myself, who are psyched for the X-Men Dark Phoenix film because Scott and Jean's relationship is finally going to be highlighted in the way it should have been all along without the cheating that took place, especially since the newer films are depicting Scott and Jean as fairly young and nothing more than kids and Emma Frost being many years older than them with her being supposedly dead in this newly revised timeline. The Sophie Turner and Ty Sheridan versions of these characters can unlock many doors as their slowly developing friendship over not being able to control their powers blossoms into something deeper and more romantic, especially since the director of the Dark Phoenix movie has revealed that Scott realizing his feelings for Jean will be a core element of the movie as well as him starting to take charge in leadership on the team. There are so many fanfic out there of Jean and Scott being paired together romantically, people still shipping them despite the dysfunction. I've read several for X-Men Evolution already that depict Scott and Jean in Fix It Fix and they are completely devoted to each other, especially with the Phoenix Saga, one Evolution fic in particular I've read about them being depicted as all grown up and married with their daughter Rachel and Scott's love being strong enough to rescue Jean from the Dark Phoenix. So if you need any good recommendations for Scott and Jean fan fictions, I will leave some in the description box below. But you're probably asking yourself, why ship these two if there is so much dysfunction in their relationship and Cyclops constantly shifting back and forth between his feelings for both Emma Frost and Jean? Well, they are both compatible on a mental level, have a very strong psychic pull with each other, which allows for them to tell what the other is feeling from hundreds of miles away. And no matter what version you are looking at, adult Cyclops, teen Cyclops, teen Jean, the OG Jean, there is a bond there that cannot be broken, as displayed in the Phoenix Resurrection when Jean thanks the Phoenix for allowing her to see her husband one last time, showing that despite how much they hurt each other in the past, Jean still deeply loves Scott so much and will give for 
anything to be together with him again. In the end, the two are best friends who deeply care for and love each other, despite having a variety of other love interests in their lives, and somehow they find themselves going back to each other. Whether you love or hate this pairing of these characters, we all need to admit that Cyclops and Jean Grey love each other, and that their love and connection is an important aspect to the X-Men comics, no matter what version of the characters you are looking at. Let me know in the comments down below. Well, are you a fan of this ship? Do you love it or hate it? Are there any other ships that you want me to cover? If so, you can leave your request in the comments below, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye, everyone, and have an awesome day.